Hey everyone, well here it is, brand new 2022 Kenworth T800. This is one of two trucks we purchased, the other one will be here soon. It is not a T800, it is an 880, which is a new version of this. I'm going to talk about the truck, I'll show you guys the features and how we equipped it. And if you hear some door rattling going on in the background, that's because we're getting a 75 degree day here in western Iowa in December of all times, uh, late December, with a high risk of tornadoes a day. So pretty unusual weather, and the shop is vibrating and the doors are rattling because of the high winds occurring outside. They are talking in places of gusts of approaching 100 miles per hour. I just spent the morning getting this truck cleaned up. They had this truck with three more on the back, piggybacked. Uh, they sent it out of the factory that way, sent it north across Iowa, and the driver unloaded the series of trucks, and we met him at a hotel, his hotel, in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. I drove this back home, and uh, he caught a flight to Chillicothe, Ohio, which is where the 880s are made, and he has other deliveries. In the process of delivery, the truck did get pretty filthy, just because we had to drive it from and so we spent the morning cleaning it up on this very warm day and i'm in the process of cleaning it up now uh, a little bit more when i get it all detailed and there are several things we'll have to do to it to prep it because it did not go to a dealer it came direct to us from the factory um, we purchased this truck from great lakes uh, kenworth which would be uh, whiteford kenworth out of ohio and yes ohio is quite a ways from iowa uh, that dealer was a very nice dealer to work with, very cordial, uh, respectful, got us exactly what we wanted, did a great job of follow-up and follow-through in pricing. Uh, we did try to buy it from a local Kenworth dealer, MHC Kenworth. Uh, the salesman there claimed that he had it configured and then he got a little hard to get a hold of so I went to his office, sat down with him and the minute that I walked in his office he claimed his computer crashed and he lost all the build configurations which meant he actually would not he would never sell them to me. I, I asked him for over six months and he would not sell us the trucks. Uh, unfortunately, MHC has a large territory, so we went to the dealer to the east. And great dealer. Uh, anybody that's wanting to buy trucks and really wants to get ones you want, uh, I highly recommend this dealer. But because of the shortages and everything occurring right now, the trucks did get pushed back. These have been in order for almost a year. And they kept getting pushed back. The 880s actually be pushed back a little farther than this one because of the chip shortages. Uh, the 880 has a few more computers. The T800 is an older body style truck than the 880. And so it was able to come out of the production line first. And they are made at different plants. The newer welded cab construction like a 680 or an 880 is out of a Chillicothe, Ohio plant. Now, these, this is a 2022. These are always made a year in advance. So January 1st of 2022, calendar-wise, will be the first of the 2023s. But the good news is it was a cheaper price than waiting for the upcharges that will be occurring coming down the line, again, due to the shortages. A lot of companies are inflating prices because steel and everything they are buying is increasing. So starting out here in the front, we'll look at the options and go through them. And everything on the truck is configurable. I mean, right down to the bumper, the type of bumper. Uh, this is the four headlight model. Uh, you can see the front grille. It has the recovery hook, fog lamps, dual external breathers, an option. All this is options. Uh, it's got the 16,000 pound front axles. And I'll cut here to go show you the engine. And here's a view of the engine. 16,000 pound front axle. We have two front axles available. 12s and, 16, and then 20s. Uh, 12s are the same front axle with one steering box and they have their own setup. And then they have 16, 18, and 20,000, or maybe it's 22. But anyway, that comes with twin steering gear boxes and the bigger front end. And the only difference between the 16 and 22 is the quantity of uh, leaves. And you can see how the additional leaves are are down underneath there they just don't have them in there so if you ever want to make this into a 20 or 22,000 front you could uh, just add some more leaves to it but this is the big front end truck three eighty five front tires twin external breathers x15 this is the max horsepower engine 
605, I think 2250 torque. Single piece windshield to the split windshield. It has the jumper terminals here. Nice, nice looking, beautiful looking rig. Got like a ducted fan in there. This is a nice truck. In those clips, that was my ladder blowing away as I was trying to put some uh, spray on wax on the hood, just trying to get this thing detailed out a little bit. We're gonna do some more here on some colder days that are coming up. Twin CB antennas, the visor, the lights, the mirrors, everything's configurable. Uh, batteries are on the left side box here. Uh, it used to be a toolbox on the right side, but because these have to meet emissions, the right sand now has been converted to where the um, emission systems is placed. And it does have twin stacks, but no factory truck now, unless it's like a glider has true twin stacks, seven inch tops. We keep them a little shorter just so we can get through some things around grain. Um, bigger back window, it is the extended cab. 90 gallon fuel here, 75 over there. It's got the bigger def tank. And the uh, reflection adds 10 pounds. <laughs> it's got the platforms, uh, hoses of course, you know, a normal truck. It does have the heavy frame, which is a 3 8 frame. You can get multiple arrays of frames. So I put the aggressive tires, which were only available in Goodyear. I'm not a big Goodyear fan, but when you want a certain tread pattern, they put the brands with it. So that's what it came with. Um, does have a Holland fifth wheel on it. It does have the AG460, 100% full locker rears, uh, eight bag AG460 rear ends with, uh, like I said, full lockers. Full lockers are great. They'll go through anything. You can lock all eight solid. This truck will go through a lot. 199 inch wheelbase, uh, standard rear flaps. Not much for options there. You can see that frame, how thick it is. It's a heavy frame. It didn't go double, but it went heavy single. The doubles, I don't have a need for it, plus they get rust between them. Disc brakes, 46K rears, which is a heavier rear end over the standard 40s. And the AG460 uh, suspension, they've improved these a lot uh, over the years. The eight bags rides like a dream, and they do have eight inches of travel. So, pretty nice looking truck. And over here on the right side, you can see the uh, that's where your emission stuff was at. Originally, I think that was a toolbox on the older models pre emission. And it does have room here for the uh, toolbox to be added, and it does have the quarter frame uh, mounts or quarter fender. Uh, air slide fifth and every, again everything's a configurable option uh, even as to where they put stuff and you can move that fifth wheel around as a factory option uh, quite nice i did get kenworth talked into uh, doing a custom plug that they don't normally do uh, there's your lights and there's a two prong this is the custom plug but that will be for the roll tarp um, cleaning up the back of the cab it's pretty pretty filthy this thing uh, standard heat shields uh, a single exhaust, I mean, you know, you gets coming out of this chamber. The one over there is actually a dummy exhaust, just comes across, but it's not actually weld connected. And these mirrors are electric, um, even though they're the old style mirror. Got the cut windows, got the right hand window. I mean, they do have a mirror that comes out and off the door. I don't think you can use those other mirrors with the external breathers. Taking a look here in the cab, you know, this is an old rivet together body truck. This is not uh, the new style welded structures. And when I get to 880, I'll be able to show you that little difference. It's got carpet on it. Uh, it's covered right now. And we're cleaning up the floor, uh, cloth seats, uh, fixed seat over there. Same seat, but it's a fixed seat. And it does have the VIP interior, uh, which is the best interior option. This got what they call the smart wheel, which is the leather wrapped wheel with controllers in it. And I'll tell you, being dumped off in Omaha, when there's a vent going on in a misty night, uh, never having driven this truck before, was not the place to learn. It is an Ultra Shift, 18-speed uh, Ultra Shift, not an automatic, it's an Ultra Shift. And uh, I like it a lot, uh, simplified, uh, especially for my father who's a little older. I'm used to shifting. But this is this is enjoyable. And it's uh, much different than an automatic transmission. It's got the Kenworth infotainment system here. You can see that come up. 
all the info gauges, max gauge packages. Pretty nice. Power everything. It's even got keyless entry. They don't have keyless start, but it does have keyless entry. I'm really impressed with it. Super quiet inside, drives like a dream, rides like a dream. Uh, really happy. Took a lot of getting used to just on the trip home. I got a lot to learn about what button you hit where. Uh, you can toggle different things multiple times, including this system here. Got some learning there to do. But uh, thrilled with it in the T880. We'll have an entirely different interior and uh, be even better yet. Uh, no console here or any gear shift to lean my hand on, which I'm very, very used to. This is, uh, for me, hard to get used to. So I'm relying on the armrests. Overall, a beautiful truck. Very happy with it. Can't wait to put it in the use. I can't wait to get the other one. Just wanted to show this to you guys. There'll be a lot more on it, including better videos of it. So thanks for watching. And if you actually like the channel, hit the subscribe button.